This is William Henry Harrison High School in Harrison, Ohio. All right, we're gonna continue with the mini projects today. So if you finish that, I'll rotate you to another one. So our advanced manufacturing class, it's a standalone class. It's not any kind of a career tech pathway or program. So your selector switch is working both of these, is that correct? This is Ignite Course 1. Our school is very good at giving students skills to go into college right out of high school. We are very good at putting students in the military, but we had a subsection of students that were graduating high school and they didn't want to go to college. The Ignite program gives students skills that they could use right out of high school. It deals with anything from CNC machines, hydraulics, pneumatics, AC-DC electricity, electric relay control programmable logic controllers, so it gives kids hands-on skills that they wouldn't necessarily get in a high school setting. So you do like an online course about the machines, and it tells you how it works in the real world and in the manufacturing business, and then you go out and you actually do it. These have to come from here. You go through the lessons and then you go back and you do the different skills and you operate the different machines and you run them and program them and do different things with them at different machines. For the longest time in education, we've talked about 21st century learning. What is it? What does it look like? Uh, I feel like here at Harrison, with programs like Advanced Manufacturing, we're actually doing 21st century learning. Try to do DC. You gotta do it by DC. This is such a different approach and such a different opportunity for students than what we've had traditionally. They're excited to come to school every day. This uh, engages them in ways they've never had before. Um, they get to learn skills that they never thought they would learn. Um, and they're doing things certainly that, that 16, 17, 18 year olds in other schools in the area are not doing. It is really fun and I feel like I have um, a good understanding of everything in what I'm doing. And they were doing mini projects today, which is kind of a culminating project that um, uses their knowledge of the equipment they were using to kind of use their skills to figure out a problem that they were presented with. So they didn't really have directions on how to do things, they just were presented a problem and then they had to use their skills to figure it out on the equipment. I kick it on. Students love the hands-on aspect of it. They like being able to do a lesson and then come back and do a hands-on thing right now. They're not sitting in their desks for 50 minutes like they would in, say, an English class or something. So. It's really good for those kids that can't sit still or they need something to do with their hands. Programs like this I think are essential. Um, I think they're happening in isolated pockets here in Southwest Ohio and throughout the state, but I think Ohio in general would benefit from more programs like this just because it gets more opportunities for students. It opens up so many doors for them, so many opportunities, um, and really for careers that may not even exist yet. I mean, there is a, a huge niche for students going into that manufacturing job, whether it's maintenance or doing the manufacturing itself, but absolutely there's a niche for that right now. And those positions need to be filled. I think it's fabulous. I, I was an intervention specialist before I started this, so we saw those kids, when they graduated high school, they didn't really have somewhere to go if they weren't going to go into college, and now we can give them those skills and I think it's a great opportunity for kids that either don't know what they want to do or they can go into one of these manufacturing facilities and then they would pay for their college if they needed to. So I think it's fabulous.